which sometimes isn't conducive to the type of football that we're trying to play. But, you know, looking at it as a whole in the picture, we can now reflect on the season, look at areas that we must improve in, and uh, and hopefully come back stronger next season. Uh, it was a much better performance this week, wasn't it? There seemed to be more self-belief and confidence throughout the team. Yeah, I, I've said that, you know, we, we've been looking at a, a much a much um, stronger unit in recent weeks. We really have, but, you know, the cutting edge had, had made a couple of tactical changes in the sense that, uh, you know, we'd gone to a different shape in the last couple of weeks to try and create more opportunities, but we went back to our normal formation. You know, a formation that the players know inside out, and I thought we pressurised the game at the perfect times today. We then got our recovery positions at perfect times, and I thought that we countered really well. And uh, I thought it was a really mature performance from us today. And to lose the goal when we did, you know, was a real hammer blow, but a great response. I thought that probably today Nathan Delfonso gave his best 90 minutes for the club since coming here, and uh, I thought he thoroughly deserved his goal. For what it's worth, I thought Mark Marshall was outstanding. He was outstanding. He really was. We we slightly uh, changed the balance of the midfield, although we went back to our normal form formation. In possession, we played with a tighter three, and then Marshall more detached on the left-hand side, almost playing as a, 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 a left winger. So it gave us that, and he always looked a threat. You know, a couple of times, you know, his final pass let him down in the early stages, but the great thing with him is he, he didn't let that affect him and uh, I thought he had an outstanding afternoon and really really pleased for him. Will he be in next season do you think? Uh, I don't know, you know I'm going to speak again uh, with all the players uh, after after the final game of the season. I have to look at the budget, I have to look at the best way we can spend the current budget um, to utilise our resource because you know I obviously want us to improve next season. But, uh, you know, there's no doubt that playing at Northampton in terms of the budget is very, very difficult and the likelihood is it comes down again. So we, we have to maximise our resources, so I really have to look at things over the next week um, and speak with Steve Waggett about, you know, our, our course of action. And Gordon Strachan was here. Yeah, he phoned uh, me this morning. He phoned me this morning for a couple of tickets, so... <laughs> He, he was a wee bit Georgia. late. No, he was a wee bit late. You know, uh, everywhere was uh, was gone. Um, but you know, it was it was good to see him. And I think Alec McLeish was there as well. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah it was a Scottish day out today. You know, it was. Uh, but, but I'm sure Gordon Strachan was impressed by Andy Webster this afternoon. I thought Andy. You know, I, I've been saying for some time that I think Andy has been immense in the, the, the running, you know, I think when the pressure has come onto the side, he has really stood up to it and shown his maturity. And I think he'd have been really impressed with John Fleck as well today.